this little man <laughs> is a wild man. <laughs> Zach Pickard is the smallest kid on the playground. I'm a champa. But he has the greatest laugh <laughs> and endless amounts of energy. I can even use my fingers. This boy Get it just doesn't stop. People enjoy being around him. He makes people laugh. He tries to make people laugh. He's like a little clown and a little jokester. Zach's fellow first grade classmates are all at least a head taller than him. But his mom, Tina Pickard, says it makes no difference to her six year old. He knows that he has progeria. He knows that it um, makes him not have any hair. And no he knows that it makes him short. And he knows that it, you know, makes him have, you know, the veins on his head. That's about the extent of what he knows about it. Progeria is a very rare genetic yes. aging syndrome. Yes. All right, Zach. Children with the condition usually die from heart attacks or strokes at an average age of only 13. It's me that's at school, his best bud Joseph looks out for him. He's always close by for a quick hug or a little mischief. He's just like all my other students. He, um, he gets excited. He loves to listen to stories. Um, he loves to ask questions and participate. First grade teacher Wendy Dick says with Zach, He's so fuzzy. It's always a party at school in Lexington, Kentucky. And Zach's personality is special and, and I've already told his mom, um, I feel like he's going to teach me more than I will be able to teach him this year. With a backpack about as big as he is, he's ready to roll home. Where he still just doesn't now do a little dance. run out of steam. His family of four remains positive in the face of the fatal condition. Right now he is happy and right now he is healthy and we have, we are just taking it one step at a time. You know, something might be different tomorrow, but for today we're just going to enjoy it and just try to live it <laughs> as it comes. According to the Progeria Research Foundation or PRF, Zach is the only child with progeria in the state of Kentucky. He's just one of 16 in the United States and only one of 100 children in the whole world living with the condition. That was what really made it unreal and made it so hard to grasp. But I mean, it's still when I think that there's only 100 kids in the world that have this syndrome, it just baffles me. Scavages. Diagnosed as a baby, Zach has been on a drug trial for four years to combat this condition. PRF is working to find a cure. Over the years, Zach's family has raised thousands of dollars for research through pancake breakfasts, motorcycle rides, runs, and the race against time, a walk in Zach's honor happening in Louisville's Cherokee Park Saturday. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a researcher. We kind of feel like this is all that we can do. And if we can, you know, have these events and, and raise awareness, you know, that people will donate money and they'll and PRF will continue to have the funds that they need to do the research. Ready? Yeah. Until there's a cure, faith, hope, and love, <laughs> lots of laughter is what the Pickard family lives on. I feel special because he's special, and I am very proud to be his mother. I cannot imagine having a different child. I would not trade him for anything in this world. I mean, I would trade the progeria, obviously, but I wouldn't trade him for anything. <laughs>